Since 2016, I've been on a journey to create sustainable eating habits. In this video, I will share my experience from wearing a blood sugar tracking device for a whole month that helped me gain insight into my diet. Hi everyone, my name is Luba, I'm a former product manager and software engineer in Silicon Valley, and on this channel I talk about tech, entrepreneurship, and my journey to a balanced and more productive life. There is a variety of diets out there, and you know, back in 2015, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was 20 pounds heavier and I was on the spree trying a bunch of different diets figuring out how I could lose that extra weight there is like no really quantifiable way to figure out whether a diet is working for you and the only way up until now was really to step on a scale or count calories in calories out but the most reliable way is to actually track your blood sugar levels blood sugar also known as blood glucose comes from eating the foods your body converts the food into sugar that then is circulated into your bloodstream and if you get excess sugar into your body it's actually getting stored in your body as fat and excess blood sugar can be very very harmful and blood sugar also affects your energy levels throughout the day back in 2015 when I just started my nutritional journey and I've been learning a bunch of stuff about foods diets uh, healthy habits I remember I started getting super into figuring out what kind of tracking devices were out there and back in 2016 there was this company called habits that launched a metabolic kit that they would ship to your house and it had the super sugary shake that you should have taken to figure out how your blood sugar response to get the result you had to prick your finger get the blood test before you drink the shake right after you drink that shake and two hours after you drink the shake they were able to tell you your metabolism speed and kind of advise you on what kind of diet you had to follow so that your body feels at its best now there exist devices that continuously monitor your blood sugar they're called CGMs continuous glucose monitoring devices and are primarily used for people who have type 1 type 2 diabetes so you essentially wear a sensor on your body there is a tiny needle in the sensor that continuously tracks your bloodstream and continuously can measure what is the sugar level what is that glucose level in your bloodstream this year I learned about a company called levels that decided to take this technology into the consumer market levels aims to popularize the idea of metabolic fitness and continuous blood sugar monitoring to a regular consumer that does not have any pre-existing health conditions when I learned about this company I was super excited I really wanted to get my hands on the device and so I reached out to the founders and as a result I was able to get my hands on levels tracker before they publicly launched so in this video I want to share my learnings from wearing the patch for a whole month I received my uh, levels health glucose tracker box and I'm about to put it on uh, it's just a simple box unlock what's inside I'm excited to unlock what is inside let's see okay so there's two sensors this little thingy over here oh here are the actual stickers one sensor is for 14 days i have to stick it on oh wow this is so cool damn this is like a legit sensor look guys i'm gonna become a cyborg it's supposed to not hurt me at all when i put it on i'm pretty sure it's gonna be just like a tiny mosquito bite okay okay this is the moment okay i put it on yeah, it didn't hurt at all. Wow. Okay, so now I have my sensor on. Okay, so we're keeping the paper disc because we want to protect the sensor. So we're putting the paper disc directly on the sensor and just putting it on top of our skin so that it glues. Okay, cool. Well, I guess this is it. This is how I'm gonna look like now. I think it looks really stylish. I like it. Here's the, how the app looks like. Freestyle Libra link. Okay, so I'm signing into the Levels app, but still keep in mind that I have to wait for my sensor calibration for about an hour. So it sounds like the Libra link app is talking to the Levels app all the time. And this app, the Libra link actually monitors the glucose data and then it sends the data to the Levels app where Levels can nicely graph the data, can show you that consumer interface, you can log your food so that you can make those correlations in your own head around how your, your body responds responded to food or to exercise. After wearing levels for just a few days, I already noticed that the smaller blood sugar spikes my body had, the more energetic I felt throughout the day. Day one with levels with my patch is complete and I wanted to share some insights that I learned from just one day of using it. So in the app, now I have this cool graph that shows uh, you know, my glucose levels throughout the day. I've been going about my days just the way I would normally eat and see how I respond. Yeah, there was a bunch of spikes and see with these little dots on the graph that's actually me logging the meal that i had i can take a picture so we'll click on the plus button and here 
where I can take a photo of um, whatever I'm eating and then it'll log it on the graph and then I can check my glucose level again and then it'll plot and then you can have that reference point for yourself that hey I had that bread and butter or hey I had that taco like I had right now let's see what my body actually does metabolism is a set of cellular mechanisms that produce energy from foods and from the environments to power our human processes in our bodies so that's been really interesting it also gives me this metabolic score which essentially um, is responsible for the variability of how much my blood sugar spikes throughout the day it also tracks you know sleep and exercise so at night my blood sugar is really really steady and ultimately you want to keep it this way throughout the day exercise also has a pretty big effect on your blood sugar levels because when you exercise your body needs that sugar to produce energy and so exercise as I also saw from the graphs even taking a small walk after eating a meal can balance off blood sugar levels pretty significantly so let's say if you eat something very sugary but then you exercise or even just take that walk right after the spike is actually going to be smaller because your body used that energy from the sugar you consumed to create energy to exercise our day-to-day -day choices significantly affect blood sugar levels. How we sleep, what foods we eat, uh, what combination of foods we eat together, what is the cadence of meals we're taking, how much exercise we're doing, all of that is affecting our blood glucose levels. And as a result, obviously, it affects how, again, productive, how effective, and how energetic we feel throughout the day. One of the most surprising things that I found out from wearing levels is that, luckily, ice cream does not affect my body that much, because if you eat full fat ice cream it has fat and it has protein and those two nutrients cancel out the sugar effects that the ice cream has on your body the unpleasant finding that I had if I eat pure bread even if it's whole wheat bread my blood sugar spikes quite significantly and the same goes for corn tortilla chips if I eat it without anything else without canceling out that you know simple carbs that sugar that is being produced by my body right after eating those foods then I have a pretty significant spike check glucose I actually just had a taco, so let's see how my blood sugar responds. Okay, so I tapped um, 104, so it definitely went up. So this is an interesting insight. But the interesting part, the interesting insight from levels was, uh, again, that meal composition factor. If I added a salad, an egg, avocado to that piece of bread, it actually then levels it out and cancels out the sugar effect that pure bread or pure corn tortilla has on my body. I'm testing out some of my favorite foods and meals and right now I'm having a scallop with some butter, burrata with pomegranate, balsamic, olive oil and some spinach. So let's see how my tracker will react to this. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes since I ate. Um, let's see. Oh wow, my blood sugar is pretty low. But I think I should wait a little longer to see the real results. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, still very low huh so that means that this specific meal was incredible for my body look it just stayed low Predictably, refined sugars were absolutely terrible. I went on a spree trying out a bunch of different candy and actually Laffy Taffy was the worst out of them because it's kind of just eating pure corn syrup. Uh, that was just terrible. Another pretty expectable, I guess, insight is that everyone reacts to diets and exercise very differently. Our bodies are different and that's why the same exercise, the same diet might affect you in one way but your friend in a completely different way. And an interesting insight was when me and a friend of mine were wearing the levels patch around the same time and again if I was reacting to ice cream pretty normally and I did not have that big sugar spike ice cream was the worst thing that he could eat as soon as he ate the same type of ice cream his blood sugar just went through the roof so that, that kind of speaks to lack of quantifiability of regular diet and exercise if you do not constantly monitor how that specific activity affects your individual organism they say that, you know, complex carbs, fats, they all uh, develop like not so big of a response of your blood sugar, but it's also very individual. So I'm still very much learning about my own body. And last but not least, this whole experience wearing the levels tracker taught me to generally be kind to your body. Because, you know, there's so many fat uh, diets, different exercises you can do, you can beat yourself up for small little choices that you make throughout the day, but there is no magic pill, there's no magic diet, 
diet, there is no magic exercise that is gonna make you feel super energetic, super productive, lose like 20 pounds in a week. It's all about sustainability, choosing your habits carefully, and a device like that can obviously help you figure out what works for you, what doesn't, and then you can train yourself throughout a bigger period of time to make the right choices and to live a more sustainable lifestyle according to your metabolic fitness. If you're curious to check out levels and to try monitoring your glucose levels for yourself, you can purchase levels on their website. You can use my link levels.link slash luba to completely skip the waitlist. If you do decide to purchase levels, uh, come back to this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below about your experience. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. I am planning to do more tech reviews, but for now I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye for now.